Here at ETH in Zurich, we use medical magnetic resonance imaging to probe internal dynamics of granular flows. We had to modify the medical equipment a little bit in order to make it suitable to image granular materials. Therefore, we built a 16-channel receiver array, a radio frequency receiver array that acquires data in parallel and allows for time-efficient, fast sampling. And we designed oil-filled core shell particles, one millimeter in diameter, that have a, they yield a strong signal. The combination of these two techniques allowed us to apply single shot uh, readouts that are very time efficient and we are able to image at 7 milliseconds per slice. The imaging setup looks like this. We have a cylindrical vessel with a perforated plate at the bottom through which we blow air. And we fill this with particles and we fluidize these particles through the air. Then we place the radio frequency receiver close to it and put everything into the magnetic, magnetic resonance image scanner. Thanks to the high temporal resolution of 7 milliseconds, we can observe the chaotic dynamics of fluidization in real time, study the shape size and rising velocity of gas bubbles and detect dead zones. But that's not all. One of the best properties of magnetic resonance imaging is that it allows to measure flow directly by applying bipolar gradient uh, encoding gradients to your pulse sequence. You can extract the velocity of each pixel in the image from the face of the signal, recorded signal. And this allowed us to measure instantaneously the velocity distribution within our three-dimensional system. Here we inject a single gas bubble into fluidized particles and measure the instantaneous velocity of the grains. For this type of measurements, we achieve a temporal resolution of 24 milliseconds. Thanks for watching. I'd be glad to give you more information about this project at the post of presentation or contact me via email. Thank you.